Welcome to Nova Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two individual measurements into a single NOx file and do a baseline subtraction of the CV data. Welcome to Nova Software. Uh, data points recorded during an experiment are saved in a user defined database as individual NOx files. However, for some applications, it's convenient to be able to perform calculations using data points from two datasets. This can be done in NOVA by merging the files into a single NOx file. For example, the signals involved in calculations must always have the same length and the number of points, except when the mathematical operators, providing a unique value as a result, are used. For example, the minimum, the maximum, the standard deviation or the mean. In this video, an LSV measurement, linear sweep voltammetry measurement, contains 656 data points, while the cyclic voltammetry measurement contains 1108 data points. It's therefore not possible to subtract the values of the current measured during these two experiments from one another directly. However, it is possible to use the mean mathematical operator to subtract the average value of the current recorded during the LSV measurement from the current values recorded during the cyclic voltammetry measurement, even if the signals do not have the same length. This video shows the, to merge two, um, two individual measurements into a single NOx file and do a baseline subtraction of the CV data. What I've done, I've copied demo number one and demo number 20 from the demo database to my data. So when I go to library, I have my demo database. In demo 1, I will see my copper deposition, and in demo 20, I have an LSV in steel of KCL, for example. I've copied these files into my data, and here I can merge the two files together. Well, how do I merge these two? First, I select the first file, and then I hold my control key. So I press my control key, and at the same time, I select the other file. You will see in the right upper corner uh, an icon available which says Merge Data. When I select Merge Data, a window pops up and where you can give it a name. For example, uh, CV uh, Merged CV um, and Baseline Current. OK. Now I've merged these two files together. And when I open this file, double click on it, both data will be available. So from the CV and from my LSV. What I can do now is I'm going to change the color of my um, uh, LSV. So I'm going to change it into. here into red and I'm also going to show it in plot number one like this so I have two sets of data in one graph the thing the, the next thing I have to do I have to subtract the currents uh, from the LSV well first the average currents of the LSV from the currents of the CV well, first I have to calculate the average current of the LSV. This is done by using a calculator. And the calculator is in this control command, calculate signal. And in the calculate signal, we can calculate the average current. We can give it a name, average current of the LSV. It's in amps. And then I give it the expression. This expression is the mean value of the current I. Yeah. Once I've um, set the value, I can link it to the measured signals from the LSV. And in this case, it's the working electrode one current. 
So now I have uh, calculated the average current of this LSV. The next thing I have to do, I have to extract information from the CV, but also I have to extract information from the LSV. And that's done with the build signal command. In the build signal command, it's twice, I have to drag it twice into the top um, file, like this. And I have to use a calculator afterwards because I'm going to subtract the average current from the LSV from the CV current. First, I'm going to extract the values. Well, select the build signal command, command type. I want to extract the current from the CV. I select CV staircase. And when I press enter, I have my values of my CV staircase available. Well, I'm interested in the current measured, but I'm also interested in the potential applied. So these values are extracted. That's one. From the LSV, I use the second build signal command. I also want to have the average current, which we've calculated. LSV staircase. And from this LSV staircase, we can say average current of the LSV. Like this. Now I can subtract um, from the CV and the LSV the currents, and that's done in the calculator. Um, current subtracted, like this, unit amps. And I can give it a, so, so I want to subtract the average current of the LSV from the CV. So I say current CV minus average current LSV. The only thing I have to do now is link the parameters which I have defined previously. So I have my current of the CV and I have my average current of the LSV. When I look at my data grid, you will see potential applied, the current of my CV, the average current of the LSV, and the current subtracted. With this information, I can go to more and create a plot, a special plot, which is the subtracted current versus the potential, applied potential. So I can say subtracted current versus potential. On the x-axis, I say potential applied, and on the y-axis, I say average current, for, uh, sorry, uh, current subtracted. And again, show it in plot number two, make it green, like this. Oh, this is my subtracted CV. When I want to have this plot in, also in the this same plot, in plot number one, I can go uh, put this plot in plot number one to overlay. You see, both plots are now overlaid on top of each other. The blue line is my original CV and the green line is with the uh, subtracted current of the average value of the LSV. So in this video, it shows you the functionality of merging options in combination with the build signal command. Thank you for watching Nova videos. If you found this Nova video helpful, like and share with your colleagues. Please subscribe to the Metrom Auslab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.